Nice freaking meme, bro. And we have a map starting in Bro, Sweden. Bruh. Drive 40 hours south. Go to the Austrian city. Oh, that's a huge F. F in multiple ways because uh, it's actually not called that anymore. The city of meme, Switzerland. And then, of course, Nice, France. This is the most incredible geography meme I've ever seen. I feel as if someone got bored and just started naming things. Okay, so we have this place here with the city of Banana, Tabawaki, London, Paris, Poland. City names and then randomly a country. Because why not? That's how I want name stuff. Just get like a big old spinner wheel. Whatever it lands on, that's what this place is called. What city is depicted in this map? Drive with lifts. Is this like a made up city, you think? It looks like it's from a video game. Oh wow, it's China. That's weird. Why did they choose that? Okay, we have a beautiful painting between these countries. Oh my, they did it! They're actually touching! That is beautiful! Is that why they made the borders like this? Just for the beauty? For the artwork? I thought the real reason why they did this at the time was to separate Britain, who controlled this, and Russia, who controlled this. They didn't want them, like, directly touching. Those two great powers could have been a bad reaction. I'm not exactly sure about that, though. Ah, uh, yes, the beautiful country of Chile. <laughs> It's getting spicy over here. Again, this time, the 100 equally populated states. This doesn't trigger my OCD quite as bad, but the border gore is still pretty terrible. Just huge states over here. I, I guess they have to grab, like, towns to make all the population sizes equal. Hey, there are still a couple of squared edges. That's nice. Here's an ethnic map of Byzantium if it was still around in 1910. We got some familiar faces. Russia and Italy, Egypt. All this blue is Greek, which 61% of the country would be. Of course, there's still Bulgarians over here and a lot of Armenians over this way. What if Greece had a colonial empire? This is kind of along the same subject. Slightly different, though. They would have grabbed a bit of Turkey. Of course, they were gonna get some North African territory. That's a must. They would have even possibly gotten the Ivory Coast. And then, yeah, they're gonna need to get Cyprus. All right, so here's a real-life diagram showing you the elevation and depth of the Great Lakes. This thing is so high up. I mean, that's that's a different location. I didn't realize that was 12,000 feet up. This is in South America, though. Then we have Lake Baikal, which is in Russia. This is the deepest lake in the world. This thing goes way down there. And then here we have the four Great Lakes. So Lake Superior, Lake Huron, Lake Erie. Here's the Niagara Falls, and then Lake Ontario, and then leads to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So you do actually raise up. That's crazy. I sadly do not know a lot about the Great Lakes. That's pretty cool. Lake Michigan is deeper than Lake Huron. The St. Lawrence River only is 20 feet deep at times. Is that real? South Africa and this nation that's landlocked inside of South Africa, which I am trying to avoid pronouncing. Lesotho. Lesotho. But yeah, it's kind of just trapped in there. That must feel awkward. Colorado is not a square or rectangle. It's actually not perfect because there are at least four points where the borders get a little bit weird. Right here next to Oklahoma. I wonder why that is. And then here in New Mexico, it changes by almost 3,000 feet. And then I guess this is not a perfect angle. Okay, okay. I mean, it's pretty much a rectangle though. Come on. You can sail from Tonga to Belgium in a straight line. I mean, I don't know why anyone would want to do that. I don't think this is the farthest distance, but that is very odd combination of countries. Instead of it's Tonga time, it's waffle time? Oh, you can apparently do the same exact thing, but with New Zealand. And then it just squeezes through those islands that Alaska has. Oh, it barely misses that too. I had no idea it was that close. Wow. Why aren't more nations in Oceania visiting Belgium? It's a straight shot. 15 years of erosion. Not much happened. A little dent. 25 years. years. We have more of a valley. 50 years goes by. Oh, that's smooth. And the fruits of your labors are seen. Only 50 years, not bad. Never give up. Even you can make the Grand Canyon. Here's a similar image, but with an added couple water sources to make it even crazier. Lake Tilla Tillicho, even higher up than this one. Then there's the Dead Sea to show how low it is. And then the Marianas Trench, which is just so scary. I don't think I have that fear of, like, the deep ocean, but I might start to develop it. Just looking at this, it, it's, it doesn't, it feels not right. The Republic of Ireland fits perfectly in South Korea. The borders don't obviously match up uh, like great, but it fits perfectly within it. Not exactly though. It looks like there's a couple edges. I mean, hey, you could also put like the Vatican in South Korea. Whoa, that's crazy. Country with square flag. Nepal flag. Switzerland. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here either. Nepal is just trying not to act suspicious. They're infiltrating a fellow mountain nation. Mountain nation gang, rise up. Where is this map? Don't tell me it's in the Falkland. Oh, it is. This is in the Falklands and they completely deleted Argentina. Those are fighting words or fighting pictures. I'd be careful. I wonder if that rivalry is made worse by all the secret um, escaped 
Germans that made it down there. Here is the Stanislav Canyon in Ukraine. It almost doesn't even look real. I think part of that is the effect of like the sunset though. What, wait, what happened? Is this a different part? Or is this at different time? Oh, I think this is at a different part. Oh, look, they are actually using it for uh, infrastructure reasons. Here's a picture of the Canadian-US border in northern Idaho. They cut down all the trees to mark down the border. This seems very easy to sneak across. Hmm. There are 1.2 billion English speakers in the world as of 2019. 283 million in the US, 125 in India. But regardless of all that, I love how England slash the UK does not appear on this image. It's kind of weird, but I, I understand. Scale model shows how mangrove forests protect the coast from wave erosion. So the water, the plants right here stop Oh, that's so weird because like, it's not like a wall. They're not hitting a wall technically. Water can move through those leaves. Plants just taking the erosion head on. Seen this recently, Denmark has the oldest flag. Then it's the Netherlands. But Nepal tried to set a trend. They have the third oldest flag. They were really trying to get everyone started with this whole weird triangles flag. But no one followed. You guys all want to be unoriginal. I see how it is. They say France is known for surrendering. At the beginning of the 20th century, all these glorious empires. And at the end, Oh, yeah, not so much anymore. But look at that. France looking like a ninja throwing star. Frosty is a very beautiful and rare phenomenon that happens when there are two wave systems in the sea moving at oblique angles. This is so weird. It's like a giant quilt, kind of. That doesn't seem like a fun place to be out in the ocean. This is in France? If you want to take a train across Russia, you'll need to set aside seven days to for a direct route that doesn't stop, crossing 11 time zones and almost 4,000 bridges. That does not sound fun. Trains, in general, don't sound that fun. Unless it's like a high-speed train. I know some people like to do that, though. The latitude comparison always boggles the mind. It is crazy, because, like, Canada, I see it as, like, a snowy Arctic hell. A lot of it, at least. And all these countries aren't that, necessarily. Pretty chill. Snowy Arctic hell with very nice people, I should mention. So, 1920, original British Empire. This is what they had control. But if you put it all together in one giant landmass, this is what it would have looked like. Very Mongolian-like, that's for sure. Surprisingly, I don't know if I feel like this is as impressive. I thought it would be looking impressive, but this is crazy because it just reaches from like all different angles and sides. What if Bavaria unified Germany? Here's an old history of potentially what that could have looked like. Very nice flag with the light blue down here. Bavaria is this southern territory and they would have grabbed up all of this. This map shows them looking more of what we see as modern Germany, but they wouldn't have had all of this. What is this, Prussia? The leader could have been Ludwig II. This actually just looks like a recipe for disaster. These places divided. I feel like Central Europe would just get rolled over upon. The 93 states of America, each state having 2.8 to 3.4 million population. This is disgusting. Thank you for making the US uh, even more hideous than I thought. But I know a lot of people don't like our like squared borders over here. You definitely got rid of that. Honestly, what type of horrible person would create a map like this? They're just trying to make us all suffer. What if sea level rose by 250 meters? All right, Western North America doesn't look that crazy. Skinnier Baja, and now we have like a uh, Bay of California. But boom, that Mexican sea completely destroys everything. Just by raising it up to 250 meters? That is scary. We have the island of Appalachia and a couple of other islands that were just created. Florida's just completely gone, so it's not all bad. I'm just kidding. I kind of want to move to Florida. But how does one apply to be a Florida man? A town in Nebraska has a single resident. It's the only place in the U.S. that has just one population. How do I do that? There's got to be a place where I could just go live by myself in a desert. How does one accomplish this? Taiwan and Province Island in Canada. See, this is what I thought the Irish South Korean one was comparing. Like, there's a lot of geographical shapes that were repeat itself. Not even geographical. Sometimes they are like actual country borders. It's weird how often that happens. This is the marker at the exact location of the North Pole. I didn't even know they had something and honestly I don't know how much longer they're gonna have that. That's depressing. I feel like you're in a very bad spot if you ever see this. How terrifying would that be if you just wake up from like a nap and you're all of a sudden here? I don't know why that came through my head but I'm just saying. I don't know why that would happen either. Maybe aliens dropped you there. Former Yugoslavia overlaid over California. Now I like this. Been simping for Yugoslavia for a long long time. Now I can actually like compare it to my state. So it almost reaches all the way to San Diego and the northernmost point. Oh, okay. So it's not really that bad to drive through, assuming they've got like good highway system. And I don't know. It depends on the population. Actually, I don't really like the drive from LA to San Francisco. That thing is grueling. It reaches all the way to Vegas too. It's crazy. Lake Chad 1967 versus Lake Chad now. That is not very Chad Earth. Please don't do this. Let Chad be alpha again. Actually, this is very depressing. Okay, so this part of Russia, I've always seen it. Seen it on a map. Oh, it looks very beautiful. I'm sure it's really isolated, right? It's got to be very, very isolated. Wait, what? This is also 
in that same little peninsula? How is it looking so drastically different? Whoa! Oh yeah, I'm sure that nature there is crazy. How is it possible the landscape can change so drastically? Here's another one, St. Lucia compared to Sri Lanka. It is almost like a mirror. It's like they're reversed. This is the upside down world. The Mayo Volcano in the Philippines. It only erupts with mayonnaise. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Venezuela, bonk, nope, that's Lithuania. Brazil compressed, Africa compressed. So this is not wide Africa, this is short Africa. No wide countries anymore. So a little bit of compression can make things look, I think, uh, very similar. That's not that surprising, actually. Here are the different wetlands in the U.S. We don't have very many wetlands in L.A., but there's a lot more in Northern California. Obviously, Louisiana and the Deep South just filled with it. A lot along this coast right here. What's going on with Montana? How do they have so many? It's just like covering the entire state. I didn't even know that about Montana. Egypt's Pyramid of Giza may be considered one of the wonders of the world, but Sudan has nearly twice the number of pyramids. Maybe they practiced down there in Sudan, and then they're like, all right, we're ready for the big stuff. I'll try it by the Kush Empire, Kush Kingdoms of New they had anywhere between 200 and 225. Egypt only had 138. I'm assuming they're not all still around. How do we even know? From 1949 to 1999, the Northwest Territories was the largest subnational jurisdiction in the world, being larger than India in total. They formed something else, right? Sasquatch. They're, yeah, they split it up. Did they do that in 1999? I'm so sorry. My Canadian uh, knowledge is dumb. There is something there eventually. I thought they split it. Oh, the largest now is in Russia. So maybe they didn't do anything with it. They were just doing it to flex on Canada, huh? I bet you. Just trying to prove a point. I love this, especially in the Google Maps style. Zealandia, if it was never submerged. Imagine if it wasn't just a giant desert. Would they have just like ignored Australia then? You think the British would have put all the resources in developing New Zealand? Australia might have still been a prison continent though. Imagine how many more shires and Mount Doom this is a place in Ireland. I don't even know how this was formed and how is it just so green like that? It's crazy. Close-up view of Antarctica from space. Weird to see this angle. I feel like we're looking at the back of a Christmas tree. There's a reason why the earth formed all this stuff down there. Like this is maybe not the most beautiful, but you know, you got to hide it from sight. Nebraska is the only U.S. state to be triple landlocked, which is kind of different because it's not like Nebraska can't go through. Like it's, it's different when it's like a nation that's landlocked between different nations, but you know. Back when Washington, D.C was situated in a massive supercontinent called Pangaea and it looked like it was like right in the middle. Was it like kind of a desert or was it mountainy or something? Spain, if the Reconquista continued into North Africa, grabbing large parts of Morocco, getting pretty far over there too. This would have been very tough for them to hold down at the time, but who knows? San Francisco, if it was a city state, that'd still be a pretty large, kind of scary city state. Wait a second, are they going to let Jefferson be its own state too? Ah, Greater Cascadia. Now if they split off and did their own thing, I feel like That'd be a very difficult place to take over. Cold and foresty. If someone was invading, there'd be a lot of places to hide. A map if Mexico beat the U.S. and kept uh, California and all these states. It would have continued to colonize North. They would have probably forced them to grab Florida and a lot of these. Ooh, I wonder what Canada would think about all this. Someone then made an election map of it. Wait, how did Mexico get the Philippines? Oh, because... If they did win, they would have probably had the fill. I see what you're saying. Macau too. They gave them a bunch of colonies in Asia. Yeah, those elections would have been crazy. The Caribbean. Wait, I didn't even see that part. And then a greater Arizona. Would this be a state? Yeah, instead of making states smaller, why don't we make states bigger? Unify the Californias. Imperial Arizona, I like that. And thank you to the December patrons. Plebeian Tribune. Julius Cheezer. Lennon Lover 419. Fusion Wolf. Manny Manny 74. Roll C Tree. Dooch Baggins. Deezer 123. Mac. Rat Smacker 3000. Aryan After Hours. Luxembourg Lover. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Polofsky. Clovin. Ballin' Like Stalin. Elijah Senpai. And Steps to War. Thank you.